Hello there YouTube, it's Alex from WebMonkey and today I very quickly wanted to share with you a video I made in response to one of my paint students who had a particular issue that he was trying to solve with Elementor. And I typically don't do this but I made an exception here because I feel this is an issue uh, many Elementor users might face and they might not know the best and easiest way to solve the issue. So sit back, relax, and I hope you find this video useful. I got a question from a student of mine who calls himself Wesley and Wesley asks, how can I create a homepage blog style where I can create articles with like little images and if I create a new article, automatically update on the page. I don't know if I made sense to you, but I tried. Well. Wesley buddy, don't worry, you made perfect sense. And if you don't know what Wesley is referring to, he's talking about how he can display uh, his recent post on his homepage. Now with your homepage, there are two ways how you can display content. You can either go with a custom look, like what I have here on my WordPress blog. You can see it has a very customized kind of look with the animations, the links and so on. But what Wesley is referring to is the simpler approach where you basically would have on the left hand side, the featured image of each post, a short excerpt and maybe things like the title, the category of the post, the number of comments and then maybe on the right you can have like a sidebar uh, displaying some additional content. So this is typically the default style with WordPress and it's a simpler way of displaying content. So don't worry Wesley, I'm going to show you exactly how you can create this kind of look uh, using Elementor. So, the first thing we want to do is we want, we want to go over to the back end obviously and I'm going to click on pages and click on add new to add a new page and I'm going to call this one the test uh, home page. Obviously you want to give this a better name. I'm calling this one a test because I already have myself a, an actual home page. So I'm going to go ahead now and publish the test home page. That's the first thing we're going to do. Next would be to create a template that we'll then use to display our posts on the home page. So I'm going to come down here to Elementor. I'm sorry, under templates rather, go to templates. I click on add new and then right here. Now there are a couple of ways how you can actually achieve the same result. You could go with creating an archive template, but I think the cleaner and the easier way would, would be to simply create a page template. So I'm going to click on page and I'll call this one the sample uh, home page. Okay, click on create template and voila. So right now we can customize how the home page is going to look like. I'm going to go for something like this where we have the posts on the left and then the sidebar on the right. So I'll go with my inner section and I'll try to make the left column a bit wider. So let's make this one, let's say 70%. 70 okay and uh, right so on the left column I'm gonna go on the pro and add my posts element and of course right here you can customize this as much as you want I'm gonna do this very 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 quickly I'm gonna make this one two columns and uh, the image size I'll make this one full and then down here where you have metadata I'm going to remove number of comments I don't need that one and then of course on the query you can customize the kinds of posts that you want to display. So if you wanted to display posts specifically from one kind of category, as an example, you would go to include by, click on term, and then under term, you can type in the name of the category. So in my case right now, I can go with security, and then I can choose uh, categories WordPress security, just as an example. But I'm guessing in most cases, you want to display all posts from all categories. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this and just display all the posts and there you go. So now on the right, we're going to go over to, uh, let's come down here to uh, WordPress and from here I can begin to add as many widgets as I want to. So as an example, I could add the widget for, uh, let's see, I could add maybe the search bar or maybe not. I actually don't like the search bar <laughs> there. Let me remove that one. Uh, let's try adding something different. Uh, let's come down here. Okay, for example, I can add our categories as an example. That would be one widget. Uh, we can go back in here. Let me add uh, a few more. Uh, I can add the tag cloud as an example. Just drop that under the categories and so on and so forth. So you can add as many 
or widgets as you want in the sidebar or alternatively if you have yourself a sidebar that you're already using and you want to use the widgets in that particular sidebar you can go to general and then on the general you simply scroll all the way down here and then you would see the sidebar element you simply click and drag i can't use that because i actually don't have any sidebars uh, with the theme i am using because i don't need it so that's basically how you would create your content and your structure for your home page the next thing right now would be to simply go ahead now and uh, hit publish so now that we have the template published what i'm going to do is to simply go over to the back end and then i'm going to come down here once again to templates click on saved templates and what I'm going to do is to grab the short code for the template, which is what we have right here. I'm going to go ahead now, copy the short code, and then let's go over to pages. And I'm, go I'm going to look for the test home page. I'm going to go ahead now, click on edit. And then I'm going to edit with Elementor. And then I'm simply going to paste that short code. So let's look for the short code element, which I believe should be under uh, general so it's right here on the general short code i'm going to drop the short code element and then in here in this box i'm going to paste that template and there you go i'm going to go ahead now uh click on apply to apply the changes uh let's come down here to remove the title because i don't think we want to display the title of our home page so i'll go ahead now and hide this title and there you go i'm going to make the final update and then the final, final thing to do <laughs> would be to go back to the back end. And then we're going to go to our WordPress settings and then go to reading. And then right here, choose our static page for the home page to be uh, the test home page. I'm going to go ahead now, save my changes, go back to the front end. And there you go. So now you can see my WordPress blog has a different style from what it was originally. And of course, each time I upload a new post, it will automatically show up in here as well with the featured image, the excerpt, the title, and so on. So you don't have to worry about uh, manually updating this. It will all be done automatically for you. And of course, if you feel like you need to edit your template, maybe you don't like something about it, all you need to do once again is to go to the back end. So let's do this really, really quickly. You would go back to the back end and then you'd come down here to your templates, go to save templates, click on the template you want to edit by clicking on the uh, edit with Elementor. And then from here, uh, you can simply begin to make uh, whatever additional changes that you need to make uh, to the templates. You save those changes and automatically every page where you've applied that template to would I'll reflect the new change. So that's how you can uh, edit your template if you need to. I just wanted to quickly mention that I do have my official Elemental Masterclass available on my platform, thebirdmonkeyacademy.com. And it's basically a full course that will teach you everything you need to know about working with Elemental from start to finish. So if you're interested, in taking my course, I will have the link in the description box below. If you enjoyed the video, of course, give it a thumbs up, share the video with anyone who may feel might benefit from it. And of course, Alex from Bear Monkey, stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.